I would not want to go call a management company that is accustomed to managing houses and duplexes and then hand them my 200 unit apartment complex. That probably wouldn't be a great fit for them. Likewise, if I'm buying a small property, five, 10, 20 units, I may not want to go find that A class management company that's used to, to managing high rises and, and have them go manage some duplexes. Their systems may not be a fit. So you always want to kind of try to find a management company uh, that already does and manages something very similar to what you're trying to buy yourself or trying to manage. So now's a good time to start up all that. All right, so we have 30 days for due diligence, probably another 60 days maybe or so to get to the close. So I've kind of picked 90 days here. So 90 days from your contract date, chances are you're gonna be going into that closing, you're gonna be buying the property, uh, your attorney or your title company will be doing that transaction for you, so you don't have to worry about that. But uh, now it's time for operations, and this is where the management company is gonna take over. Um, at this point in time, we wanna be looking for our accountant. Um, you know, Someone that can help us keep uh, track of our books, help us keep track of our accounting, chances are your management company, unless you're managing the asset yourself, your management company is gonna do the bookkeeping. They're gonna collect all the rent, they're gonna pay all the expenses, they're gonna you know, make a profit and loss or a trailing 12 statement for you.